are going to discuss continuation of board exam questions one or three mark and part two this is and before going to our class as usual let's close our eyes and we can pray god kindly provide your knowledge and wisdom to solve our mathematics problems and our daily life problems thank you god let's move on through the problem number 11 all right let's move on to the problem number 11 prove that 2 tan inverse half plus tan inverse 1 upon 7 is equal to tan inverse 31 upon 17 so use to form a service 2 tan inverse is x is equal to tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y these two formulas you have to remember before going to start this problem and very simple this solution so what is the given in this place so our LHS 2 tan inverse half plus tan inverse 1 upon 7 now what is 2 tan inverse x formula tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square if x is half now tan inverse 2x means 2 into half upon 1 minus half square is nothing but 1 upon 4 plus tan inverse 1 upon 7 now 2 to get cancelled now tan inverse 4 ones are 4 4 minus 1 3 upon 4 so 1 upon 3 upon 4 plus tan inverse 1 upon 7 now this reciprocal of 3 upon 4 is nothing but 4 upon 3 so tan inverse 4 upon 3 plus tan inverse 1 upon 7 now tan inverse x plus tan inverse y tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y so solve that so tan inverse 4 upon 3 plus 1 upon 7 1 minus 4 upon 3 into 1 upon 7 because tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y so now here take the LCM so that uh, it is very easy what is 3 7 sir? 3 7 sir, you already know that it is 28 so now here I will write remaining part here this is equal to tan inverse your LCM is 28 then 7 4 are how much 20 8 LCM is your uh, 3 7 are 21 your 28 minus not your plus is there so the plus 3 ones are 3 so write 3 upon again 21 minus 4 upon LCM is 21 21 21 get cancelled so what is 28 plus 3 that is nothing but 31 21 minus 4 17 so check now here a valid just tan inverse 31 upon 17 it is right so that this is your RHS LHS is equal to RHS so that hence it is proved so just you remember these two formulas substitute it you get your answer that is about your problem number 11 let's move on to the problem number 12 all right let's move on to the 12th problem through the tan inverse square root 1 plus x plus square root of 1 minus x upon square root 1 plus x minus square root 1 minus x that is equal to pi upon 4 plus half cos inverse x so if you want to prove that first you need to think something that is let x is equal to cos 2 theta let me think and what are the cos 2 theta formula cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta if I want to write this in the form of cos square theta then cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta minus 1 cos 2 theta in sine form is 1 minus 2 sin square theta then you need to remember tan x plus tan y upon 1 minus tan x tan y is equal to tan of x plus y so reversely form like this so these are the formulas which you need to remember before going to this okay so now x is equal to cos 2 theta now here cos is there comes to your cos inverse so cos inverse x is equal to 2 theta and theta is equal to 
So we have two multiplying go to that side gives them so half cos inverse x. So why I thought it as x is equal to cos two theta means whenever you get as theta you can write half cos inverse x because of that reason. Let me, let's move on to this all problem so that you can understand clearly. So let you take your LHS first. So in that tan inverse square root one plus x. X means what do you know here? Cos two theta. Just write cos two theta plus square root of one minus cos two theta upon again same square root of one plus cos two theta plus square root of one minus cos two theta. Remember here. Whenever plus is there, that plus you can take as in the form of uh, cos square theta, cos square theta form, and here sine square theta form apply, so that it becomes very easy for you simplification purpose. Okay, so let's move on to that. So now tan inverse square root of one plus what is cos two theta? Two cos square theta minus one. So I said for you. For first one, wherever plus is there, one plus cos two theta is there. Apply two cos square theta minus one. One minus cos two theta is there. Apply one minus two sine square theta. Why you can understand uh, when I'm uh, when I was some student. So now here it is, two cos square theta minus one plus square root of one minus that is one minus two sine square theta. Same method up right here also. So that is square root of one plus two cos square theta minus one plus square root of one minus one minus two sine square theta. So now bracket close. So now you can understand here plus one minus one get cancelled here also plus one minus one get cancelled. You are understood why I was substituted when one plus cos two theta is there two cos square theta minus one because to remove this once okay means to simplify so that is about that and let's move on to uh, next step all right next step is here I am writing this is equal to tan inverse bracket like start. Square root two cos square theta. Square root two square root cos square theta. Okay. Plus square root. This minus set inside. What is going to be given? One minus one plus two sine square theta. Because minus one minus one only minus into minus plus two sine square theta. So here also why we substituted sine square theta means. To get the cancel cancellation up to simplify, so same method next one also root two root cos square theta plus here square root one minus one plus two sine square theta minus one plus one get cancel bracket close. So now here tan inverse. So you observe here square and root square and root get cancel root two cos theta plus here also same only square root two sine square theta is nothing but square root two sine theta directly writing now so you have root two cos theta plus root two sine theta now in this again what I can do now tan inverse root two common in both root two cos theta plus sine theta here minus right so it was written plus minus 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 upon root 2 cos theta minus sin theta now cancel root 2 root 2 now cos theta plus sin theta means here denominator both divided with cos theta then what you are going to get tan inverse cos theta upon cos theta plus sin theta upon cos theta that is upon cos theta upon cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta okay 
So you already know that the here cos theta cos theta get cancelled. So you get as one sin theta of one cos theta is nothing but tan theta. So let me write here now. Right, remaining part I am writing here. This is equal to tan inverse one plus tan theta upon one minus tan theta. And you know that in tan of one is nothing but pi upon four. So you can write it as tan inverse. One is nothing but tan pi upon four plus tan theta. If nothing is there, means multiply with one. Then what you are going to get? Why we are doing it is just to make as a formula tan pi upon four into tan theta. This is in the form of tan x plus tan y upon one minus tan x tan y. That means tan of x plus y formula. So right here tan inverse. Tan of x is pi upon four plus y is your theta, and you already know tan inverse tan theta is nothing but theta. So now you can write it as pi upon four plus theta. Since tan inverse tan theta is equal to theta, I got to do that. So now pi upon four as it is. Plus, what do you know? Theta in the first beginning we thought na let theta uh, that is x is equal to cos two theta. So that time theta you got as half cos inverse x. So just substitute that half cos inverse x that is equal to your R H S. This will be right. So that's the reason. Hence it is proved. So hence it is proved. So that is about your problem number two. If still you have any doubt, you can comment on YouTube section, uh, YouTube comment section, so that I can help you out. Okay. So let's move on to the thirteenth problem. Next question: Simplify the function tan inverse cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x. It is simple. Just divide numerator and denominator with the cos theta to to get the tan form. Okay. So it is very simple. First, write the given one that is a tan inverse. Cos x minus sin x. See here, I said just to divide it. I am directly writing. You don't write. First, write in your exam this part, and then write start. Start writing this step. Okay. So cos theta over cos x upon cos x sin x upon cos x, and same method here also. Cos x upon cos x plus sin x upon cos x. Cos x, cos x cancel. Cos x, cos x cancel. You get here tan inverse one minus tan x upon one plus tan x. And here what I do here it is tan inverse one means you already know that tan pi upon four minus your tan x upon one plus. Here nothing is there means one thing then that should be tan pi upon four into tan x. It is minus comes tan x minus tan tan y upon one plus tan x tan y is nothing but tan inverse tan x minus y. X is your pi upon four minus y is your x. So now tan inverse tan theta is nothing but theta directly can be pi upon four. Minus x. This is your simplification, and here you can write since tan inverse tan theta is equal to theta. This is about your problem number thirteen simplification. Let's move on to the problem number fourteen. Let's move on to the fourteen. Find the principal value of tan inverse root three minus cot inverse minus root three. You need to remember these values. Tan pi upon three is equal to root three. And cot pi five pi upon six is equal to minus root three. Tan inverse tan theta is equal to theta. Cot inverse cot theta is equal to theta. These you have to remember before going to solve this problem. And now it is very simple. You already know the principal value means numerically which was the smallest value that is nothing but simplest value. So now we can write here tan inverse directly in writing. Root three is nothing but tan pi upon three. 
right tan inverse tan pi upon 3 because root 3 is tan pi upon 3 minus cot inverse minus root 3 means in cot cot pi 5 pi upon 6 so then you already know tan inverse tan theta is nothing but theta that is nothing but pi upon 3 of minus cot inverse cot theta means 5 pi upon 6 so take LCM, LCM is 6, then this becomes 2 pi minus 5 pi. That is nothing but minus 3 pi upon 6. 3 1s, 3 2s. So that is equal to minus pi upon 2. That is about your principal value. I hope so you all understood this. And let's move on to the next one. Okay. Anyhow, this uh, 15th question prove that tan inverse 63 upon 16 is equal to sin inverse 5 upon 13 plus cos inverse 3 upon 5 is homework for you. And what you need to remember here it is you change sin or cos any one. So if here it is if I take here this cos inverse changing into the sign that is what is your uh, uh, here you are observing that this is your uh, base and this is your hypotenuse base is 3 hypotenuse is 5 and according to Pythagorean replied 3 4 5 right if 3 5 is there what should be another one it should be the 4 if you want you can apply Pythagorean rule and you can find out if you are remembered like a Pythagorean triplet method, it will be good. 3, 4, 5, so that your uh, perpendicular is 4. So then, if you want to change this as into sine, then you can write sine inverse 5 upon 13 plus sine inverse opposite side is nothing but it is perpendicular. Perpendicular is 4 upon hypo is 5. So sine inverse 4 upon 5. So sin inverse x plus sin inverse y formula apply and get the answer or you go for this sign change into the cos inverse form there again 5 13 is there means 5 12 13 is Pythagorean reflect so you are uh, adjacent side or the base is here 12 so then that time what will happen so this is one method and second one it is this if we want to change into cos inverse so your base is 12, so the 12 upon hypotenuse is how much? 13 plus cos inverse 3 upon 5. Use here cos inverse x plus cos inverse y. So this is that formula. And sin inverse x plus sin inverse y again I write here. Sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to your formula square root of. Uh, so you can write x square root of. So I will write for you this formula that is sin x square root of 1 minus y square so it is just x square root of that means you can write here this is equal to sin inverse x square root of 1 minus y square then plus y square root of 1 minus x square. So use this on that any one formula and complete it at last uh, answer change into the again use uh, this Pythagorean triplet and then find out answer is tan inverse 63 upon 16 that true okay that is about your 15 let's move on to the 16 this is homework for you. Next problem number 16, find the value of cos pi upon 2 plus sin inverse 1 upon 3. So for that what do you know cos pi upon 2 plus theta is equal to minus sin theta. So apply that, what do you get your answer here? Cos pi upon 2 plus sin inverse 1 upon 3. That is nothing but minus sin inverse 1 upon 3 so now here minus sin inverse 1 upon 3 is there so we can write this as here it is uh, sin of sin inverse 1 upon 3 because 
you know that cos pi upon 2 plus theta is nothing but sin theta. So write for sin and theta is here sin inverse 1 upon 3. So now what do you know about sin of sin inverse x that is equal to x you already know. Adding to that what I can write here 1 upon 3 that is your problem number 16 and 17 prove that half tan inverse x is equal to cos inverse 1 plus uh, square root of 1 plus x square upon 2 square root 1 plus x square whole to the power of 1 upon 3. So 1 upon 2 how to solve same method here also first let me think it is let x is equal to tan theta and then theta is equal to what you are going to get now so x is equal to I am taking as what tan theta then theta is equal to what you get tan inverse x so just substitute in your RHS that so that what you get in RHS cos inverse 1 plus square root 1 plus x square 1 plus x square means here tan square theta upon 2 square root of 1 plus tan square theta whole to the power of 1 upon 2 and this you can write again cos inverse 1 plus square root of 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but what do you know secant theta which you already remembered so 2 secant theta now whole to the power of 1 upon 2 then again cos inverse 1 plus secant theta means can I write in the cos form then that is 1 upon cos theta again here also 2 into 1 upon cos theta whole to the power of 1 upon 2 so then we can write here again cos inverse cos theta plus 1 upon cos theta so here I am writing upon cos theta okay so then this is 2 upon cos theta whole to the power of 1 upon 2 cos theta cos theta get cancelled then you get here as what you got here cos inverse cos theta plus 1 upon 2 so now I am writing here that is cos inverse cos theta plus 1 upon 2 but you know that cos theta plus 1 is nothing but 2 cos square theta upon 2 so write here cos inverse 2 cos square theta upon 2 upon 2 so then here 2 to get upon 2 whole to the power of 1 upon 2 we forgot right so now 2 to get cancel then cos inverse cos square theta upon 2 whole to the power of 1 upon 2 means what you get cos theta upon 2 now cos inverse cos theta is nothing but theta upon 2 can I write this half into theta and theta is nothing but what do you know that is nothing but tan inverse x so half tan inverse x that is equal to your RHS so I hope so you all understood this hence it is true that is about your problem number 17 ok so this is about uh, a 17th problem and let's move on to the 18th problem Alright, let's move on to the 18th problem. Prove that sin inverse 3 upon 5 minus sin inverse 8 upon 17 is equal to cos inverse 84 upon 85. Another one, find the value of expression tan of sin inverse 3 upon 5 plus cot inverse 3 upon 2. That uh, we need to find this all. So before going to find what I think it is just you can observe carefully now. So I'll think here let this is your solution let sin inverse 3 upon 5 is equal to x and then here sin inverse 8 upon 17 is equal to y then here sin inverse go to the side sin sin x is equal to 3 upon 5 and here sin y is equal to 8 upon 17 now if you want cos x cos x is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square x and same method cos y is equal to square root of 1 minus cos sin square sin square y 
So just substitute that square root of 1 minus 3 upon 5 whole square. Here cos y is equal to square root of 1 minus 8 upon 17 whole square. When you simplify it, you will get as uh, anyhow 3, 5 is there means according to Pythagorean rule 4 you are going to get. So directly I will write it is 4 upon 5. And another one you will get uh, cos y as. 15 upon 17. So this part it is you get as cos y is equal to 15 upon 17. Now you know one formula that is cos of cos of x minus y is equal to what do you have formula cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. I hope you remember this formula, just substitute the values now. So here it is cos x is nothing but what do you know? That is cos x is 4 upon 5, cos y is 15 upon 17 plus another one sin x is nothing but 3 upon 5, sin y is nothing but 8 upon 17. So now when you take LCM, what you are going to get here, 17 Pfizer is nothing but your 85. So now I will write here itself, that is equal to, here LCM is 85 and 15 fours are how much? 15 uh, fours are 60. So 60 plus 8 threes are how much? 24. So then you get as this equal to 84 upon 85 what equal to cos of x minus y so right here cos of x minus y equal to cos here go to that side cos inverse x minus y is equal to cos inverse 84 upon 85 what is x here sin inverse 3 sin inverse 3 upon 5 minus what is y here sin inverse 8 upon 17 that is equal to cos inverse 84 upon 85. That is about your problem number 18. I hope so you all understood this. Let's move on to the problem number 19. So I hope so you all able to find this all. Right. Let's move on to the problem number 19. Alright. Let's move on to the next problem. Find the value of expression tan sin inverse 3 upon 5 plus cot inverse 3 upon 2 sin inverse x is equal to tan inverse x upon square root of 1 minus x square that you have to remember as a formula and cot inverse x is equal to tan inverse 1 upon x means you are changing sin and cot inverse in the form of tan inverse so let me write here solution so what is there that is tan sin inverse 3 upon 5 plus cot inverse 3 upon 2 so very simple, just you can write now this formula tan sin inverse x is nothing but tan inverse x upon square root of 1 minus x square. So tan inverse x is nothing but 3 upon 5. Then square root of 1 minus x square means that is 3 upon 5 whole square. Plus cot inverse x is nothing but tan inverse 1 upon x. So write tan inverse 1 upon x means 2 upon 3. Now you can write this as tan, tan inverse 3 upon 5 upon LCM take for this then you get as what you get here 25, 25 minus 9, 16 square root 16 is nothing but 4, 4 upon 5 plus tan inverse 2 upon 3. So now you have 5, 5 get cancelled, you get as tan of tan inverse 3 upon 4 plus tan inverse 2 upon 3. So it becomes tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. That is nothing but tan of. So tan inverse x plus tan inverse y means tan inverse x plus y. That is 3 upon 4 plus 2 upon 3. 1 minus x into y. x is here 3 upon 4. y is 2 upon 3. So you have to remember formulas tan tan inverse LCM is here 12 and here down also LCM is 12 and now here so if it is 12 now you can take uh, uh, as a, a 4 table 3 so 3 3's are 9 plus 4 2's are 8 
So this is your 9 plus 8. And here it is 12 minus 2, 3 to the 6. 12 minus 6. So now you can get here it is 10. Let me check this part. Right? 10. 10 inverse. No. 12, 12 get cancelled. 9 plus 8, 17. Upon 12 minus 6 is nothing but 6. 17 upon 6. So now your tan of tan of tan inverse theta is nothing but theta. So that is theta is nothing but what do you know now? 17 upon 6. So now we can write here at last tan in tan of tan inverse theta is nothing but theta. That is 17 upon 6. So that is about your problem number 19. Uh, let's move on to the, I think you are observing that, that is 17 upon 6. And let's move on to the problem number 20. And this is our today's last problem. Alright, let's move on to the last problem. Find x. If tan inverse x minus 1 upon x minus 2 plus tan inverse x plus 1 upon x plus 2 is equal to pi upon 4, find that x value. Very simple. So just write now tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Tan inverse of directly I'm writing here it is tan inverse of x plus y means x minus 1 upon x minus 2 plus x plus 1 upon x plus 2. So x plus y 1 minus x into y. So that is x minus 1 upon x minus 2 into x plus 1 upon x plus 2. So that is plus equal to pi upon 4. So here yeah, tan inverse go to that side tan. So that is nothing but here I can write, take the LCM first. So LCM when you take what you are going to get here. X minus 1 into X plus 2. Just class multiplication plus X plus 1 into X minus 2. LCM is here. X minus 2 into X plus 2. So then again we buy and here it is x minus 2 into x plus 2 minus x minus 1 into x plus 1 that is upon x minus 2 into x plus 2 that is equal to tan pi upon 4 now these both get cancelled now multiply x into x x square now x into 2 2x plus 2x minus 1 into x minus x minus 1 into 2 minus 2 plus x into x x square x into minus 2 minus 2x plus 1 into x plus x minus 1 into 2 2 so here minus 2 into 1 minus 2 upon a minus b a plus b a square minus b square so x square minus 4 minus x square minus 1 because here x minus 1 in, into x plus 1, a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. So 10 pi upon 4 is nothing but 1. So now check any cancellations are possible in this place. Plus x minus x get cancelled. Plus 2x minus 2x get cancelled. That's it. So x square plus x square, you get as 2x square. And minus 2, minus 2, minus 4 you get. Right. So now what I'll do? X square minus 4 minus 8 inside minus x square minus into minus plus 1 that is equal to 1. Minus x square plus x square get cancelled. So whichever is there now send uh, that's it. So what you are going to get now? So here it is 2x square minus 4 upon minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 1. So 2x square minus 4 is equal to minus 3 go to minus 3 into 1 minus 3. Minus 4 go to that side plus 4. 2x square is equal to so 4 minus 3. So 4 minus 3 means what you are going to get? You are going to get as 1. So now we can write it as here. 2x square is equal to 1 x square is equal to 
Here 2 is multiplying over the x-axis division so 1 upon 2. Now if you write square root, so here a square, square we are observing here square go to the x-axis square root, square root of 1 upon 2. So now when you remove the x square root, x is equal to plus or minus 1 upon root 2. So that is about your problem number 20. If you have any doubt, you can comment on YouTube section so that I am going to help you all. So may God bless you all.